So in the Grossman model, <clears throat> health plays three roles. The first role is as a consumption good, okay? A consumption good in economics is one of these bland terms that can be misrepresented. But what it means is it's something that gives us utility or happiness, okay? So I'll give the overview. The overview is on the website if you are making notes. The first thing is that it is a consumption good or it is something that we desire because it brings us happiness, okay? So the second, so the first term is a consumption good, but again, it means something much more broad. It's something we're striving for that we're, we're, we're getting because it gives us utility. That's the second stale term that's bandied about in this chapter is utility, okay? Utility in economics is a goal of that people are generally, it's a play, I, I use it as a placeholder for what things people are striving for in their life. In my work, I've started using the term well-being. Most people want to be, want to achieve a level of well-being where they have not just high incomes, but they have um, freedom of choice of jobs, uh, freedom of places they can live, political agency, agency in their lives and how they uh, raise their kids, how they go about their lives. This is well-being. So health as a consumption good means that health is part of that well-being. Having higher levels of health, all else equal, improves our well-being. That's what that's talking about. Okay, so health as a consumption good. And so the first part uses demand theory because consumption, economic consumption, or the desire for things is related to uh, demand. Okay, so I, I, we use a few models that come from demand theory and micro. Okay, I'm giving the overview right now. The second piece that health does, or the second aspect of health in this model, the first was health as a consumption good, the second is health as a production input, okay? So like I said, health is an input into the process that we do all of our things. We, um, we go to work, and again, I use that example. If we have low health, we may are more likely to be sick or injured. And so if we're more likely to be sick or injured, we're not working as much. If we're not working as much, we're not making the money. We're not making the money, we can't buy the things that help make us happy, okay? So health is part of the production process of creating the well-being we want in our lives, all right? So this requires various models from economic production, PPFs, um, um, work, uh, work supply models. That's what the, third piece, the second piece does. The third piece of health in this model is health as an investment, okay? Health as an investment. So consumption, production as an investment. Investments, as I mentioned before, bring in the aspect of time where you are incurring costs you're in, in finance and a lot of human capital studies, you're um, you are measuring, you are theorizing, measuring, and comparing benefits of an investment versus the costs of investment. Should I build this new factory here? It's going to have these costs and these benefits over time. Okay. So <clears throat> the investment decision is basically if your benefits are greater than your cost, you do that investment. All right. And so that's how health is realized in this third piece, looking at the benefits versus the costs of a decision and seeing 
um, being able to predict perhaps a, a relative decisions about the investment of health, given different people's costs and benefits and things like that. And, and finally, all these different aspects of the model are, will be used to look at, um, I think the best way to use it is as disparities. What if two people have different levels of education? What if two different people come with different um, health starting points where everything else would be equal? You know, um, two similar people, one is growing up um, drinking lead water because there was not an investment in that infrastructure and one person is, grows up drinking good water, right? This is health shocks that can filter through the model and lead to predictions about disparities in income and in future health and things like that. So that's the important part of the model. We'll get to that next week. Okay, so that's the three aspects of health, consumption, production, investment. All right, 